What's going on, YouTube? It's Donnie B all day, and I am bringing you a kick-ass uh, demented family here. So basically what I want to do is I'm going to do a few videos on um, particular knife brands and everything you would ever need from them to take out into the woods to be your one-time, all-time trio of carry. So today, my family triple threat is going to be from Ontario. And what we have from Ontario is everything you would ever need to walk into the woods with this brand of blade. Up first, we have, woo, we have stuff blowing all over the place. We have the SP5. This guy is a beast right here. It's got 15 inches overall with a 10 inch blade. Um, I'm getting all blurry. You got a Craton handle here. Um, it is pretty badass. 1095 high carbon steel and it is thick as a brick. This thing is actually um, really, really comfortable in the hand. You know what I mean? Um, what you're going to use this for out of the trio, this is going to be your main chopper right here. This is going to be your chopper, your batoning knife, and if need be, your fight off a bear knife or a Bigfoot. And uh, this guy is just insane as a chopper it's just made to you can use this as a supplementary um, machete so if you're cutting through the brush boom 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 bada boom bada bing this is the one that's going to do it the sp5 should be one of your trio if you're going out into the woods for a little stay with some ontario knives all right outside of uh, the sp Five, we have the most infamous Rat 7. So obviously this doesn't come with it. This is my own sheath. Um, it comes with a really crappy drop drop leg nylon. But if you're going into the woods, who cares? Um, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be on your leg anyway. But uh, this I did just so I can bring my striker with me and have everything good. But boom, let's get the blend back. So here we have the Rat 7 again. It's 1095 high carbon. It's not a quarter inch thick, but it's fat enough to get the job done. Um, this one is 12-2 overall with a 7-2 blade. And you have the uh, Linen Micarta grips, the scales there, um, which are mighty comfortable, mighty nice. This knife, if you were going in with these three, this is going to be your food takedown knife. This is going to be your around the camp knife. You're going to be feather sticking, and this is what you're going to use for doing um, doing things like I don't know notching and and all oh, and stick chopping things like that. That the SP5 is for log chopping. Um, if you need to make kindling, once you've knocked down a log into quarters. That's when you start breaking out this guy and you start making your kindling and things like that. One of the other good things this thing is good for, did I just say good like five times in a sentence? With your lanyard hole here and with the nice shape, you can use this um, for lashing to make a spear, uh, things like that. It's just a great, great all-around blade. Now, the little brother of all of them boop, is the Rat 1. Now, this one is Aus 8 steel. Um, you have an eight and a half inch overall knife. It's four and a half closed and the blade is three and a half. This thing is sharp. Um, and basically what you're going to have here. Oh, I didn't mention it's got a four way, uh, deep pocket clip. So you can put that anywhere you want it. I like that. Um, and it's got a two way thumb stud. Thank you for looking out for the lefties. Um, the jimping is comfortable. It's a good shape. It's a it's a good size. It feels good in the hand. But um, now you've you've taken your SP5 and you've hacked your way through the woods and you got to where you need to be and you broke down a couple logs. You chopped down some trees and maybe to make a shelter. And now you uh, you chopped down some wood for firewood and then you took out your your uh, Rat Seven and you made your kindling and your doing your finer stuff getting it all done and you're starting to break down meat on a kill you just got and now it comes down to putting it on the plate and this thing whoosh, 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 is going to cut through all that meat and it's going to give you your portion sizes and your bite sizes 
uh, things like that. This thing's gonna cut your rope or your twine or you know if you're using vines. Um, this thing is gonna do a lot of your um, fine shaving. So let's say you take take your rat seven and you take a stick and you bang 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 and you knock out a bunch of material at the tip. This is gonna make a fine tip for arrows, spears, and pit spikes, right? So having the three is very, very important when you're out for a stay in the woods, not for a hike in the woods. If you're going for a hike in the woods and you're carrying three blades, let me tell you something, it's called a mental deficiency, all right? You got a little, you got a little problem in this area up here. See how it all went blurry? That's what's pretty much happened in your head. Um, one great knife on a hike is all you need. Um, two, eh, you could, you could, depending on what you're bringing, but um, you don't need three knives every time you go for a fucking one hour hike. Um, however, if you're gonna be staying in the woods, I absolutely suggest you bring uh, three different knives of three different purposes to cover every spot. You're walking away from the, uh, from the campsite to go make a doodle at night. You know what I mean? This will fit in a pocket. So it's something easy to bring with you because you never know what's gonna you know, be there. You got snakes and raccoons and all kinds of stuff. You want something when you leave the camp. If you're going you know, to see what's over that clearing, that SP5 is a must. Um, and, you know, so you wanna have, you wanna have knives that are gonna be uh, camp capable and camp purposeful. So these three guys right here, in my opinion, as far as Ontario is concerned, are your three big bad brothers you want to know so well. Thanks, Beastie Boys. Um, they are, they are awesome knives. Uh, I guess that doesn't work. Um, that works. Um, they're awesome knives to bring out with you. Uh, any one of them will get the job done for any purpose that you have, for each purpose that they're made for. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some video snippets. I did full videos on each one of these knives, so look them up. Mirror. Press subscribe. It's pretty easy, and it's free. Um, hit subscribe. Hit like. Blah, 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 blah. If you don't like it, instead of just hitting the, the thumb down little thing, I don't like it, write me. Tell me why. Put, it, put a little comment right there and say, this video sucks because you're a moron. Or, you know, if you like it, say, dude, I love this video because it taught me that you can cut your eyes out if you're messing around with the knife the wrong way. So, please, help out. I help you out. I'll keep bringing you stuff because I have a lot to bring you, and I already brought you a lot. So, um, so let's, let's go over some of those little snippets, and uh, we'll see what we're talking about. Hold on now. All right, so we are going to begin here with some video I have on the SP5. As you can see, I decided to do a little chopping with it. And this thing was a fantastic chopper. The bite I was getting, I mean, look at the chunks just flying away. Nobody really needs to see me because you don't care about that. It's all about that badass blade. It took zero effort to get through that damn piece of pallet. Freaking awesome. All right. So here I started doing a little bit of... Um, a little bit of batoning with it. Now, the one and only knock I had with this knife is the um, the round handle. Um, while it's not smooth, it is, you know, a bit textured, it's rubberized. It is round, so it can shift in the hand, um, but not during this. I mean, this was just fantastic. I tore through this log like it was nothing. Normally, when you're batoning, you aren't using a piece that long. But um, this blade right here, I just had enough confidence to where I can dive straight through. I mean, right there, I'm going through a big knot and bada boom, bada freaking bing. Oh, yeah. All right. So moving on to the Rat 7, you can see that as a chopper, it chops. It doesn't do bad. Is it as good as the SP5 in this category? Hell freaking no, that thing's a gigantic, enormous T-Rex of a freaking chopping buoy. This guy right here is just an ultimate survival knife. So, is it going to chop? Hell yeah, it's going to chop. 
Not only is it going to chop, but it's going to chop pretty damn well, even better than that hat. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I grab the old Rat 7, and I start hacking away. And this is what I was talking about when I'm, when I'm saying you can bang down, you know, a piece of wood to, to make one of your spikes and then use the smaller knife to fine tune it. It's just great for all that. I mean, and then I'm obviously this is feather sticking. If you can't tell that, well, then you accidentally got on the wrong kind of videos. I'll tell you that. But um, it did a great job. It made some really nice tight curls. I know it's kind of hard to see there, but it really did. The knife is a uh, fantastic overall survival knife. It's literally, I, I'd say, in the top ten um, easily in the top 10, most likely top five. It's a really, really great survival knife. All right. Cough. <laughs> All right. So sorry. I had a little tickle in the throat and I needed a manly cough. So right here, we're demonstrating the absolute sharpness. Where'd it go? Of the, um, of the rat one. And the thing is just crazy sharp. With the nice profile on that blade, it just goes through anything and everything. All right, so like its bigger brothers, I decided to give it a little palette test and do some chopping. Now remember, this is a just a three and a half inch blade, and it is not made at all for I'm talking at all for chopping. However. If you end up losing not one but two of your big knives while you are out, good thing you brought a mini chopper because I'll tell you what, man, it does actually get the job done a little. Not very good, though, so make sure you don't lose those other guys. All right, so here I have some hard vacuum cleaner hose, some nice thick rubber, and you can see that this Ontario, it literally just tears through this thick rubber. It is... An immaculate edge, just a great, great lockback. Um, it is uh, definitely, definitely worth having. And if you think you can't, you know, cut through a piece of steak after seeing it do that, I don't know what the hell kind of steak you're eating, but you're going to break some teeth. This thing is awesome. That is the trio. Oh, wait, we'll just watch this real quick. Ready? Look at this. It's just going to cut right through, and it just separates it so easy. And that's not sawing back and forth. That's just a little pressure. Not too bad. You want to see more? Watch the damn video. All right. I know I have a... Uh, whoa, my blurry? I know I have enough, enough video on these guys where if you guys watch the individual videos, you'll see everything. But I figure while we're out here, why not just give them all a throw? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to throw all three, one after another, in, in uh, succession, and see if I can't get them to stick. It might be a little difficult because I'm going from one completely different style, size, and weight, and shape to another. But I'm going to give it a whack. All right? So uh, stick with me here. We're going to go five yards each one. Well, that's one. That's not the greatest throw, but it's in there. Let's try this old wrap. Seven. Oh, did you guys see that? Hit the tip, but at an angle, and then it stuck straight into the base of the base of the tree here. Let's try that again. All right, that's actually a perfect throw. One more, one more, one more. Let's see if we can't get this bad boy to stick. Yeah. Uh oh. I knew I was going to end up missing something somehow. That wasn't even nowhere near a good throw. <laughs> well, this might just turn into a be here a while video. All right, let's see. Oh, no. All right. I, eh, I'm going to show you guys. I don't know. Hopefully it's clear enough. I plastered the side of this thing against that tree. That is a horrible freaking throw. Shame on me. There it is. All right. I'll tell you what. Throw in a couple of the bigger guys and then toss in a couple of the smaller guys. Whew. 
Let's go take a look. All right. So uh, I want to make sure I get you in there. Let me get all the blades in there. I don't even know. I'm standing behind the, the damn thing. So, okay, here we go. It looks like I got all three. That's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got them all. I think so. Look at this guy. That's a leaner. But it's in there. These guys were just dead straight. It took me a little while to get this poor one. Sorry. Sorry, rat one. <laughs> totally jacked you up. But it's the rat one, so it didn't break. All right, seven. Man, that throw. This knife is so easy to throw. So, so easy. All right, let's bring them in. All right, my friends. Here we have it. The Ontario Trio of must-haves. These guys right here are three very, very, very capable knives. These three will get the job done to any job done any time and every time you need that job done. I showed you some videos. We did a little throw-in. Uh, some better than others, obviously. And uh, this is it. If you are a fan of the Ontario Knife Company, or if you've never even used Ontario knives, but you want some extremely high quality, badass, great blades, and you're an outdoors guy, you're a camper, a hiker, or somebody who's even just thinking about starting it up, beginning the hobby of, of camping, hiking, and, and just being, you know, woodsman-y, uh, and you want an all-around collection of blades that will get every job and any job done, these three right here will do it. I'm going to bring you other families too. I'm going to bring you bucks and K-bars and different things. I'm going to bring you trios of excellence all around the board and uh, show you what's what, what's good, and what is worth carrying as a group. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to press subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Donnie B. All Day. Until next knife.